Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Our Flag Means Death, Season 2, Episodes 1 through 3. So, as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. To start with furry, uh, there's a mention of rats, like, graphically mentioned rats, and maybe a dog, but uh, that's about it. Moving on to the good and the bad. So, this is more of like a PSA that, hey, Our Flag Means Death is out now. They're, uh, from what I read on the IMDb expected, like, premiere dates, it's the first three episodes now, and then two episodes next week, and then three episodes after that, and that finishes out the season. So, where we left off uh, from season one is that if you had watched season one and just paused it right when that one dude got shot at the, on that last episode, then you had a really great ending. Uh, I still think that that was a great ending. The stuff that they did after that, not as much of a fan of. So I was like, it just, it better get a second season. It did. And the second season better be good. I don't know yet. <laughs> what I will say is that, and I didn't rewatch season one before watching season two, but season one, I felt like had a bit more fun that was like happy. Whereas this is having fun that's that's sad. Because, so, again, spoiler alert if you didn't if you if you didn't watch past that gunshot, like I told you not to, but spoiler for that is that they don't end up together. So this season, they start and they are not together, and you can imagine how sad one or more of them might be for that. And in an environment where you like so let's say that you're a pirate captain and can do whatever the fuck you want to people, uh, you might be lashing out at people that don't deserve it. <laughs> and yes, it's still a comedy, but kind of more of the dark... I feel like this season is getting more into the Barry level of dark comedy. Barry from HBO Max show, Barry. It's a good show overall. Um, but, anywho. Um, so, it is still funny, and they do lean into the comedy. Like, there is funny bits, but it's not... Uh, I just... I want them to get back together. <laughs> when I saw that the opening wasn't, like, them already back together, I was just like... Oh, you didn't fix that in between seasons? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this this season so far is not as happy, funny as I remember. Uh, there is still the cast of lovable characters, and there is, I think, a bit of character development. And it's just, it has the same style of comedy as, as the first season. And even with, um, if you remember the What We Do in Shadows style thing, it's a little bit of that too, which I think has... One of the guys, like, I think Steed is from that show as well, but anywho. So, still a good show, but with just these first three episodes, I'm just kind of like, oh, <laughs> I hope things get better <laughs> for them. Like, still in terms of uh, production quality and all that jazz and acting ability and pacing, uh, still great for the type of show it is. It's not like Marvel level, well, uh, you know what, Marvel's not a great uh, uh, benchmark anymore. It's not... <laughs> Uh, I'll have to find a new benchmark, but it's not like super high quality top tier in terms of like sets and everything else, but it gets the job done. Like you're not, it's not a um, Sesame Street type of, type of set. Uh, so, but it's a little bit more, but you also like you, you, it is functional for what they need in order to tell the story. And I like that. So I like this show. I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season and hopefully it's happier. <laughs> so that's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the next one. Bye.